Hello! In front of me I've got Samsung Smart TV and XGODI H10 Plus Smart TV Box. In this video I'll show you the walkthrough for settings and main functions of this Smart TV Box. Let's get started with connecting it. Uh, mine's already connected to the TV. Firstly make sure to connect it to power supply, then connect it to your TV uh, via HDMI cable and of course make sure to put some batteries into the remote control. Now when it's all done let me power up the smart TV box. First of all, it's very simple smart TV box, but also it's pretty fast and has a large amount of apps. Let me tell you that it's powered by Android, so you can connect with Play Store, you can use YouTube, uh, and you can go to Movie Player and many, many more. more. So firstly, let's start with the homepage, as you can see right now. Uh, on the homepage we've got the YouTube app, Play Store, Chrome, Settings and Movie Player. If you want, you can replace the wallpaper. Also you can install new wallpapers if you've got an SD card plugged to your smart TV box. Next, you can go to menu from what you can from where you can add new widgets to homepage. For example, let's add Twitter and Netflix. And it's done. Next, you can go to all apps that are installed right now on your smart TV box. You can enter them Make a cleanup, go to Chrome, Air Screen, File Manager, Gallery, get new apps. Of course, you can enter Play Store because it's Android. And you can go to Miracast Receiver. Let's go back and now let's check the settings. As you can see, right now we've got the bar on the right side, thanks to which we can set our device name. Connect our device to network. Connect other devices to our smart TV box via Bluetooth. Add accounts, of course Google accounts. Manage our apps. Permissions and check device preferences. This is like basic settings menu with about, date and time, language keyboard and display and many, many more. So basically uh, that's all. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe.